All new at six, our planet is going through some changes. Some we see here on the ground, but one change that's impacting us can only be seen from outer space. Next weather meteorologist Scotty Withers explains. Earth, it is our home. It is a bright spot in the universe, but climate change and atmospheric warming, well, they're dulling it. New data from NASA satellites show it's just not as bright as it used to be, especially here, the northern hemisphere where we live. Our big blue marble shining brightly as it spins around the sun, but it's gradually losing some of its brightness. A new study using NASA satellite data suggests the Earth is not reflecting as much of the sun's rays. It's called the energy budget. Some of the sun's rays penetrate the atmosphere. Some get bounced back into space. Of those that make it to the ground, they are either absorbed and warm the planet or and about 30% of them get reflected back to space. But that number is dropping. Light colored substances like snow and ice in the northern hemisphere used to reflect a lot of the sun's rays, but planetary warming is melting them, so there's less reflection. So as we decrease the amount of snow and ice covered, that's also contributed to this darkening. Of and it's not just the warming planet, but also human success in battling air pollution. The fact that we've decreased the pollution coming from these coal burning plants is uh, one of the factors that is contributing to this the small aerosol particles in the pollution actually reflected some of the sun's rays and made the planet brighter. It's a bigger issue than whether or not any extraterrestrials can see us. The more sun's rays held on the planet, the more atmospheric and oceanic warming, which will alter our climates and shift a planetary rain belt away from Florida. You would probably start to see South Florida uh, encroach more into a drier days as that rain belt starts to shift further north. Our first glimpse of future issues darkening before our eyes. Weather meteorologist Scotty Withers, CBS News, Miami.